Do we remember a poem following the life of Norman Bradman? Do we remember the people, the people forced out of their homes? Do we remember the families, the families split up, left alone? I remember Norman Bradman, a boy born in Warsaw, Poland. He lived 10 years in peace until all his rights were stolen. Evacuated from his home, his family went out on the run. They had to hide under trees for the plains came out with the sun. When his family finally returned to Poland, their home country, they came without his father, Leon. They found no possessions, no more money. He was forced inside a ghetto, his family's property revoked. But him and the Jews, they kept on fighting. They still had their love, they still had hope. It was like a living nightmare, being stuck, a Jew in Warsaw. You were stripped of your humanity, like a part of you was torn off. But after the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising in 1943, Norman was loaded onto a rail car, his destination a mystery. As he would soon find out, to his horror and dismay, he was headed to Medonic on this sad, mournful day. See, what we don't remember is the strength it took to live. When they knew that they faced hell, but they still had more they could give. That's why a young Norman would wake up every day he had the will to be alive and he had the fortitude to stay. Running carts in Medonic, he was tasked with slave labor, but they were fed mere bread and butter, never near enough to save her. Nonetheless, he stayed on track. And with a certain goal in mind, he did whatever must be done to stay in the fight and to survive. Norman left from Camp Medonic to go to Skarzysko by train, a German weapons factory, another camp a new domain. It was at this camp that Norman, in order to go on, would befriend a David Reicher, for one is lonely, but two is strong. Norman looked out for David, and David had Norman's back, and we need more of that today, putting your pride after your pack. But then, in a flash, Norman was off, gone again, first to Buchenwald, then to Schleiben. Once more of the torture, once more of the pain, many more of the innocent being killed, hurt, and maimed. Day in and day out, he fought death's cruel, cruel smile until 1945, he would see his final trial. The death march was on, the torture underway. You ran or you died day after day. See, the Nazis had thought they had found the solution, dig anti-tank ditches for the Russian intrusion. So they put the Jews to it in between runs like the Jews as slaves, they face work or guns. But soon the death march came to an end and the Nazis had stopped them at Sudetenland. On that night, Norman heard gunshots fired. So the question aroused what exactly had conspired. It was the Russians, they came. They freed the whole camp. They liberated Norman, he was a new man. His father had survived in Russia all alone but his mother and sister had never made it home. They went away together, held tight by each other. To die for your child takes the strength of a mother. Do you remember the Norman that came after the war? A man who tells his story to all who will absorb. He shares of his life with children all around in hopes that good put in will turn to good put out. He speaks of how we must learn from the past of how something like the Holocaust must never come back. We remember the Holocaust, the biggest crime of all eternity. We remember the lives we lost, six million <coughs> worth remembering. We should remember the Holocaust, but not only the evil. We should remember the will and the strength among all people. Mm -hmm.